I was contacted a few years ago by Marisa van der Meile to do a research uh, study for her on the development of, uh, to see how it will work in a, in a disadvantaged community to work with CHES to help children uh, get them ready for the academic environment. It can be quite a challenge to help children to do that. Um, so we did a small pilot study to see if there was going to be uh, a difference, what is the impact, what the impact will be if we're going in the right direction. Um, because chess you can use it in different environments, you don't need to, have to use it irrespective of gender, race, socioeconomic uh, background. And we had to see in the, in the disadvantaged area, we went to an informal settlement area, which was quite challenging. It was an area where there were uh, no electricity, no water, uh, uh, fresh running water. We did a pre-test on them, we did a, uh, and I will talk now about the test a little bit. So uh, at the end of the period, we worked for about six, seven months, once a week. We had the, uh, the intervention, and then after that, at the end of the period, we did the post-test again to see what the difference between um, uh, uh, their abilities was. We also had a, a control group, and we had an experimental group, so that we can have a comparison. Uh, what was great about the study that we did, although it was a small study, is that we could, we could use children from exactly the same school. So they were in the same environment, they came from the same background, they went to the same school, so we did have little, very little interference uh, with the scientific data that we did get. The test that we used is a South African-born developed test that was developed by the, uh, the Science Research and Human Development Centre in South Africa. We, uh, we called it the ASB, the Aptitude Test for School Beginners. The first area of the test that we did was perception. Uh, and we used uh, pictures and uh, visuals that the child is familiar with so that they can look at that. And it's very important for us to see the analytical observations because they had to distinguish, distinguish between similarities um, and differences in that. And that is a, something that we can use for the chess because we use the different pieces. So children learn in a way that they play. So because that is a, the, child, the language of a child. So we learn the concepts of basics of learning, the fundamentals of learning. Through play, we learn the, we use the objects of chess, and the child learns without them even knowing that they are going to learn. Spatial development is very, very uh, important because spatial development, the child starts learning from his own perception, his own uh, his own position from himself in relation to the world around him. That is why you use the three dimensional, and it's important for us to use that with children. It's also where uh, uh, um, visualization start with spatial ability for children uh, when they learn that from a psychological viewpoint. The next test that we use is reasoning. Uh, there's a few pictures that they have to choose from and they have to establish a connection. So what they have to do is they have to find a rule. For instance, there would be different animals where different ones of them can fly and there's one that cannot fly. So they would have to go and they would see what is the rule so that they can draw an inference which of these are different and which are not. Uh, and that is a, a basic uh, a logical thinking ability for logical thinking that, that we develop through the CHESS program. It's something that we can pretest 
and a test of the lots of times to count, and they will say it like a rhyme, one, two, three, four, five, or they will count, but they do not have the concept of what that number stands for. So uh, they have to know, we, we need them to know what the quantity means, what is more, what is less, what does the quantity of three mean instead of just a number, what is bigger, what is less, and, and that is the concept, the basis for future learning for numerical quantities. So we have a look at that. Gestalt is another thing that we test that is quite uh, important because they have to reproduce similar uh, pictures from what we give them. Uh, it's extremely important and we start to work with that on the chessboard because we work with horizontal lines, we work with vertical lines, we work with curved lines and that is also the basics for where uh, geometry in future with that they're also going to, uh, to, le to learn also for reading and for writing. Another thing that's very important for them uh, with the spatial is to distinguish between the important background foreground because in future they will have to know what is important, what I can put to the back for the moment, what is the essence of what I need to work with for now. Uh, another thing with the gestalt that is important for them is they have to, it, it's, it, it's important for them to distinguish about between letters when they start going to school, what is the same, what is the difference between the B's and the D's, what is the sequencing, the sequencing of letters in a word and letters of a sentence? So these are all foundation level things that children need to know where future learning will be based upon. Um, another thing that we, do, that we use in the test is fine motor coordination. There was a French study that was done a few years ago that also said, and it makes a lot of sense, that children, if they do give, have to focus so much on holding their pencils and writing, they do not give attention to the content of what they are learning. The last uh, test in the battery that we use is the non-intentional memory test. Um, we use the familiar, the, uh, the pictures that we used during the test of the day. We ask them which one they remember. Uh, so it's non-intentional visual memory because like uh, um, the Altman's also shown, I know which was the ones that you used now, which can you remember that you used, really, which ones did we take away. Children learn, especially in the beginning phases, in the fundamental phases of learning, they rely a lot on visual memory. Uh, that was the, um, uh, the battery that we used. What we, what we did find, it was, a, it was a scientific study, we used a non-parametric test, we'll call the Wilcoxon RAG test for data analysis, which is a scientific test that they use for small groups because our data, uh, uh, our experimental group was, was not very big. And we use a 0.05% difference, uh, is used as a statistical meaningful difference. What we did find that was very uh, um, interesting is that on all the seven tests that I showed you in the battery, there was a significant difference on all seven of the dimensions with the experimental group. But as you can see, this is the control group. This is the differences between the, the difference. Uh, this was the first was the, um, this was the reason, the numerical, the gestalt. The memory one was the only one that did show a statistical difference at the end of the day. Uh, for the, for the uh, control group. You will see with the experimental group, um, on the averages, all of them showed huge differences between the pre and the post testing uh, that was done in a scientific manner. Um, 14 learners still attend the group from which we had from the initial 25 and then the control group. Two of these children already by, by grade three dropped out, so they have failed within the first two years. Um, the remaining 12 from the children that did take part in the program, program there was a 10% achievement difference in their, just in their mathematical uh, um, ability already in, this, in the three years. Uh, so it seems that there is an overflow from the program to the child's ability to learn already in the foundation phase without any uh, extra uh, input that was given. So um, that was quite important for us. It's important for us to know that continuous intervention needs to be done for these children at a primary level so that it, that they can, it can support them in the future learning.
uh, for them as well. So that was the conclusion that we did come to that the, the, the mini cheese program did make a statistical, scientific statistical difference for children in the preschool years that came from a background and of course uh, uh, the wonder of this is that you can work with children with, with absolutely nothing, with no electricity, with no water, that had no uh, cultural background or stimulation to children uh, that come from high socioeconomic groups and the difference in the input is still there for them because every child grows on what is available that you give them. So that was the wonder of that. So it did work, uh, uh, we did find that the mini chess program did wonders and you can use it almost anywhere in the world. Uh, current ongoing studies after this pilot study that we did, as at the moment, there are, there are two big studies going on in South Africa. Uh, the one is for the University of Johannesburg, there is about 3,000 children involved and it is a big study that the Department of Education is doing over a three period and the first year of that uh, the first year of that period has already gone this year so in, within the next two years the study will be finished with them and after that we would have a more longer uh, over a more longer period we'll have some results the, the next study that's also done in South Africa is with the Northwest University that's in a complete different area of the country and uh, there is a research program in 16 of the schools in that specific area that differs from, uh, from low socioeconomic to the more affluent schools. So it would be a good comparison to see what is the difference impacts on the different areas of, uh, uh, of the intervention. And um, so, yes, that was what we found with our study. So we did find that it worked very well for us and we do need it. Any of you, like we said, this was Fritz and Chester, that's it. You've got people that can uh, uh, support schools, groups, uh, there are lots of people that can be reached through these programs. Thank you very much.